Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the Lego gasifier, I call it. Or the all-in-one gasifier. As you can see we have different parts which can be bolted together. The purpose of this is to see what each, each thing I think is necessary adds up to each other. The idea of this whole thing is to make the parts interchangeable whenever it wears out or it's not necessary anymore because of the purpose of the thing might be changing over time you need it sometimes for some people I mean some people need it for electricity some people need it for primarily making charcoal or heating a boiler or some combination of the thing the whole idea of this thing is is that it's gonna do about the same as what my two stage Viking gasifier does is that it's using the exha exhaust heat of the engine to uh, dry, torrefy and, and pyro pyrolyze the fuel so no air is needed for that process that saves air and it saves energy because now the equivalence ratio is way lower than normal gasifiers like the other one it's only having a preheater inside here for the producer gas and a preheater for the air so back to the new lego gasifier this longer thing is the could be used for producer gas preheating for the fuel but I intended to use it for exhaust recuperation primarily so this whole thing is 1 meter 30 and the hopper I have over there it's upside down now it's about 900 millimeters the under part is 500 millimeters and we have the first stage it's 200 millimeters and uh, sorry the first stage yeah, 200 and the second stage is 100 millimeters what I've done for each stage is add some lightning port goes inside and nozzles or holes if you can maybe see it there go through and through I threaded them so I can put this bolt inside and then maybe you can have to see it now you can close it off if you like and you open it up so you can tune the airflow in the two stages up and down depending on what fuel what moisture how much exhaust gas you need or you can just open them up unplug them and, or drill them bigger or you know you can access them at least that's pretty useful I would say and that's also welded to the underneath Except from this one, because that's not necessary, you can e e easily access these ones. Inside here, they're done. The output of the gas comes out under this grate. It's made so you can put it in the pipe and make it stand up. Okay. It, this also works when this reduction zone is inserted in this thing. And then put it out again. So it's gonna fit in like this. Then the second stage going on there. Like this and bolt the whole thing through and through the air inlet pipes because this wall is a double walled air inlet pipes this flexible pipes from Aliexpress nice stainless steel flexible stuff it can be wrapped around the whole thing 
for preheat and, and isolation purposes because with this thing you can preheat extra air and you can use normal let's show it here normal yellow isolation material because this stuff melts at 400 or 500 degrees C and whenever you have isolate stainless steel in between and some air it will dramatically reduce the the temperatures inside so then you get this stage first stage this one can also be closed and opened or just opened up and then you lock it up with this nut And on top of this whole thing is that thing. Together with the hopper, it's gonna be three meters high. It's uh, pretty remarkable. It's going through the roof, let's see. Like 350 millimeters through the roof. With this hopper on it. This is about 50, 60 liters. So estimated to be about 15 kilograms. And I calculated that in this pipe together with the two stages it can hold and the reduction zone it can hold about 10 kilograms no sorry uh 10 liters no wait a second i have to come back to to this statement i don't remember it correctly because this is pipe 110 or 115 for every 12 centimeters or so it's a liter so it, this is already 10 li liters and you get 300 meters uh, 20 liters let's say 12 liters of wood chips and then you get this 300 millimeter uh, 140 millimeter pipe for the re as a reduction zone i also get this inner sleeve goes inside um, one, one moment like this the inner sleeve of stainless steel chimney pipe which is fairly cheap you can also use the steel chimney pipe it will do it doesn't live that long but anything is better than buying may making this thing new although it can be replaced and I also have an outer sleeve that fits inside here, touches that 90 degree pipe because the grate, gas coming to the grate, has to turn 180 degrees and leave most of the dust on the bottom. This way I don't think I need a cyclone filter because I used three of them. At different sizes on the same gasifiers I've used with this method which the gas turns 180 degrees and there's never been a sufficient amount of dust in the cyclone filter so for the flow rate which I use it for because they say that with a half inch diameter and a hundred millimeter pipe is around 5 horsepower I would say so 3.5 kilowatts in my experience is uh, about what you can get without the thing overheating and stuff and now with the bigger reduction zone I can increase that to about 10 horsepower or 12 horsepower or 7 kilowatts I suspect but we have to see I would be happy with 5 kilowatts because that's, that's, that's about what you can get from an uh, an engine this one is uh, 8.5 kVA so that's about 7 kilowatts for real and you have a D rating of 20% when you switch to producer gas this is a modified diesel engine with a governor made on it carburetor for 14 horsepower carburetor and a mixing valve the ignition. But I estimate this thing can only get 5 kilowatts, will, which will be more than enough for most of us. 
So, let's put it together and check out what it does. Oh yeah, before we're gonna assemble it, I wanted to show you these things. These are the caps. I've seen it in some other gasifier videos. And you can do these things with one hand and they're airtight. So at startup I always do the positive pressure so that the ventilator stays clean all the time or forever. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> At least for a very long time. And after we can decide to open this thing up and place the hopper on it, or we can just do experiments with it. We can also decide to put this one directly on the first stage, but that will be a hustle. Because then we have to open it up every 30 seconds or something. Why I come back to this is because in this orientation only. This is like the Drizzler. Everybody knows the Drizzler. Drizzler. Okay. You can just vacuum the, the gases out. And you sprinkle some fuel in so now and then. And there you have your Drizzler. Kind of gas fire. This I thought very useful. You can just place this thing inside here. Whenever you please. And you can put different crates in and stuff. I mean, it doesn't have to be like this. It could also be a 3D crate or without circles or corner irons. But hey, like this, it's Drizzler. With this thing, it's an invert. If you make the other wing, if you put the hopper on this part, you get an invert. If you put it in the second stage, you have a dual fire. If you make a Heat piece, place it on it, the pipe going down, the connection, you connect this thing with the screw feeder like this one, you have the, the, the spanner specifier. If you use right angle and a screw feeder in this thing, you get the Viking gasifier. With two of those things, you get a dual fire with Viking style or two stage. Three st it makes it a three stage actually when you use to pyrolyze or at least drying it very hard and superheating the steam because the exhaust gases are going to circulate. All the way out here. <coughs> uh, here. And he heat up the pipe so the fuel can be a little more wet. The Viking gasify gets away with about 30% moisture. We're using exhaust gases in the first stage. And now we have, uh, it then did become the second stage. And this becomes the third stage. So you can do different orientations with this. Like a drizzler, spanners, uh, invert, dual fire, viking. With different heat exchangers, preheaters and such. Now, this thing didn't have the fire rope because I just had a little short on it, but it works the same as the other thing. Although the hooks are 
Other way around. Doesn't matter. Closes off very nice. Like all the other ones. Here I got one. Here I got one too. They all work flawlessly. No leaks. So let's put it together and see how it does.